How's it, YouTube? I want to tell you a brief story about my ramp pump. I want to do it in a few sections. The ram itself, the weir, and in my case, I've got a standpipe. I don't think I need to highlight the fact that uh, that's my ram behind me. So this is all sized at 50 mils. It's a 50 mil setup with a makeshift valve. The valve is another topic which I can cover. I will not get into in detail in this video. Um, let me just go up there and get a pressure rating for you guys. So as you saw there, the pressure was operating at 5.5 bars. And if you think about what that means, go vertically straight up. 5.5 bars is 55 meters. So from here to the outlet or delivery pipe, we are 55 meters below that. That would include my six meter of head I have between here and the weir. So this ram is actually pushing itself 49 meters in elevation from 6.8 meters of head. Uh, this is my stream or the top end of it where I have access to it. We've um, built some more robust walls in here and I'm sitting on the other one over here. This pipe here is my ram intake and um, this filter cap that I've got on here is just an old air filter from a double cab which I pulled all the cardboard out and put it on so my pipe comes through the wall just over here and goes to that blue drum so very basic the where's water comes in here got a little elbow to make go around it's my aquaponic background I always want to make swirl filters um, and then the ram pipe comes out that side there so currently the water level at the stream is equal to this and when you get strong flows that water level will obviously come up and then it can go out that outlet pipe and back into the stream uh, just to give you an idea of we're right up in the bush over here the top end of the stream here behind me i have my standpipe the reason i have a standpipe is that my weir which we'll get to or we've been to one of the two can't remember don't know how i'm gonna put it together yet so anyways it doesn't matter my weir to here is 70 meters of pipe, um, which means there's friction loss in the pipe that, that gets to here. Um, by putting a stand pipe, you've created a static head. So your head has in fact been moved from the weir to here, which allows you to generate the pressure you need. What's his name? Engineer 555. I'll correct that in the, in the text, sorry man. I, I, it's been a long time since I YouTubed you. But uh, he used the ratio one, two, three. One being the drive pipe diameter, two being your length of pipe from your weir to your standpipe, and three being the size of the standpipe. Here I've got a 110 mil pipe. My dimensions are not quite like he said, but that's another story in itself. Yeah, this is the ram pump outflow. If you measure this, this is what it works out to be a single tank in a day. This is 5,000 liters in a day. The reason I put the ram pump together was to try and irrigate some old macadamia trees which were lost in the forest. The tank is 10 meters above where we are right now so that I've got a bar of pressure. I'm using these small these micro jet sprinklers and at the moment these guys are all in flower. This is the reason we're here. sort of put the whole puzzle together um, I wanted to put a ramp pump down at the bottom of the farm to bring water right to the top of the farm I did that by running a 70 meter pipe to a stand pipe with a 12 meter length of drive pipe to the ram the flow rate in that stream is about one liter a second and the drive pipe is a 50 millimeter drive pipe the ram is a 50 millimeter ram it's a 25 millimeter delivery pipe that goes 55 meters uphill at the top end we're getting out there at 5,000 liters a day that's just over three liters a minute and that works 24 hours a day um, I put that tank 10 meters above where I wanted to use the water because I needed pressure at the point here, the trees wanting at about 30 liters a day per tree 
there's 50 odd trees here so I needed 2,000 liters a day to break even on what I was doing and they are an old group of trees that were eaten by forest and I'm trying to revive them with good water, compost tea, some good compost and biochar. All these things I mentioned are going to be put into future videos. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, like the video, give me a message. I'll see what I can do. Happy to help out any questions on people trying to set their own rams up because <laughs> I've learned and I've been through every learning curve <laughs> that you can go through on a ram pump. And that's the story of the ram. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something worth uh, taking from it. Like the video, comments, the more comments I get, the more people interested, the more of these sorts of things I can make. And uh, as we do at the end of the day on the farm, Cheers to you, cheers to me, and uh, see you guys next time. Away.